The status quo, what we all desperately try to fit into, the path we follow because we are told to. The status quo is a cognitive bias that not only influences our decision making, but how we view others and ourselves. It affects our decision making and how we approach our situations in life. We are taught from a young age that there's boy stuff and girl stuff, and we are forced into these roles by society, and we are taught this from since we are little kids. When little girls are on the playgrounds, they are told to ignore the boys who pull their hair and push them around because if they are mean to you, it means he likes you. Suck it up is what it feels like. Another common phrase is boys will be boys. This is often said to excuse the hurtful or rowdy behavior that boys exhibit and girls are often penalized for. This is already damaging to young girls' mental health and their emotions are already being ignored. When we are being taught there's boy stuff and girl stuff, we are being taught about places, roles in society. We are being taught to follow the status quo and that we need to stay in these roles. Girls are taught to be kind, patient, respectful, and beautiful. However, we cannot try to be beautiful because then we are superficial and fake. We are seen as plastic. However, if we don't try, we have let ourselves go and we will still not be listened to. As we grow up, we are told to find a partner, to be good wives and good mothers. Now, there's no problem with this life. However, to be the life a woman chooses for herself, not what is forced upon her. Oftentimes, when women choose not to follow this path, they will be judged. I can see the idea of a woman's place extend to the workplace. Women who enter male-dominated fields are often treated differently. We will be underestimated and told that we cannot do it. However, if we are great right away, we will be told that it can't be. It must be a fluke in the system. It must be dumb luck. This is not a natural belief. This is something that we are taught. So we have to reflect and wonder, what is this teaching young girls who are growing up and want to enter these fields? And how does it impact the women that, all, that are already in these fields and have to work 10 times harder than their male counterparts but will still be overlooked? Oftentimes, I see women's emotions being weaponized against us. Let me know if any of these phrases sound familiar to you. Are you on your period? You're being so dramatic. You must be PMSing. These are targeted phrases that are meant to invalidate a way a woman is feeling. They are used to make it seem like we are overreacting and to brush off our emotions, that our reactions are not valid, that we shouldn't be taken seriously. This feeds into the stereotype that women are over-emotional, and these are all with the implications that a woman expressing her strong emotions is a bad thing. It implies that we are unladylike and it is meant to shame us, shame us for our emotions. Even in even in movies and TV shows, there are many tropes that antagonize women who do not fit society's expectations for what a woman should be. Tropes such as the angry black woman and the spicy Latina have become popularized and perpetuate racial stereotypes that these communities continue to struggle with to this day. Representation for minorities is extremely important and already limited. So imagine what a little girl will feel like when she finally sees someone who looks like her on TV and that character is villainized for expressing her strong emotions. How will she look at herself differently? How will her peers treat her differently? Will she bite her tongue and try to act a certain way so she won't be viewed the same way that that character is? This is just another example of how damaging the status quo is. As I mentioned before, these are not natural beliefs. We are taught this. Completely overturning the status quo is a daunting task that seems impossible. However, it is important that we do so because we see it affecting our mental health. It is time to start having open conversations about the status quo and how it has affected us, even if it makes us uncomfortable. It is time that we stop to teach kids that there is a girl place and a boy place, girl stuff and boy stuff. It is time that we embrace ourselves, our interests, and follow the path that we choose. Thank you.